So the lid's up again, and that means we're now going to move on to my next recipe, which I really love. And this is my mushroom chestnut and artichoke ragu. Now already what I've done is I've actually sauteed my garlic and my onion with my mushrooms. We've got some dried mushrooms in there that I've soaked and we've got some fresh mushrooms as well. So I'm going to sit that on there. Now the artichokes I'm using have actually come in a jar and when you buy these things they actually come with a lovely oil as well don't they? So I've used the oil out of the jar to actually saute those others in. So we've got some chestnuts and we've got some artichokes, but we're not gonna add those just yet. Pop those just there just for a mo. And I've got here some plain flour. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some flour to this. There we are. And we're just gonna cook that off and put that there. Now both the cabbage and this can be made in advance, I've already said. So they can be frozen, defrosted, and then heated up on the day, or they can be made a couple of days in advance and then placed um, into the oven to heat up as well. You can also heat them up on the simmering plate, of course. So give that a nice little stir around. We've got some thyme in there as well. Oh, smells lovely. Wonderful. So all I'm doing is just cooking that flour just a little bit and then there's a theme running through here isn't there <laughs> I'm going to pop a little bit of white wine in there so we'll pop a little bit of that in there that was a little bit wasn't it it's a penny little bit anyway pop that there and we'll give that a nice little mix lovely and then in here I have the soaking liquid from the dried mushrooms. And if you want to um, soak anything that's dried, a really good place to do it is actually on the enamel here in a little bowl or on here, because that gentle heat just really helps things to absorb. So don't underestimate this area, because it really is a very usable area. So soaking liquor from the mushrooms and some vegetable stock as well. So I'm gonna pop that into there now and give that a nice mix round. Wonderful. Nice big volume cooking misses, isn't it, in these nice big casseroles. Pop that one over there. Any questions, anybody at this point? No? Are you all enjoying yourselves? Yes. Yay, good, good, good. That's the main thing. Is it all very easy so far? <laughs> It is easy, that's why. Right, nice mix, that looks really good. Oh, smelling fantastic. So then I can add my chestnuts and my um, artichokes, they can all go in there as well. It doesn't really matter what order you put all these in, guys, and if there's anything you don't like, you don't have to put it in. Just put more mushrooms in there, you can put some other nuts in there. You can even add lentils to this or chickpeas if you wanted to as well for a bit more substance. Entirely up to you. Now another thing that's optional is the cream element. You don't have to add this and if you don't want to use cream you can use something like Elmley have just bought out a particular vegan friendly um, alternative and there's lots of dairy alternatives as well. However, don't put it in as I'm putting it in now, just put it at the end of cooking so otherwise it will split. All right, so if you're not gonna add cream, dairy, um, pop the lid on this now and stick it in the oven and then add it afterwards, but we're gonna add it now. So I'm gonna pop it in like so. Wonderful. I've already told you there's absolutely no calories at all in any of the food that I'm cooking today on the Argo, all right? <laughs> nice mix. Right, would you like to see it? <coughs> yeah. Look at that. Looks good enough to eat, that does, doesn't it? Yeah? So now again, the lid's gonna go on, like so. I'm going to take my splash shield off, or splash guard, put that down there. Where I'm going to place this, and what I want a low temperature, so it's either the simmering oven down there or the slow oven up here. So I'm actually going to place it 
in here and I just want to show you something because what's so clever about these is they've been actually made the correct size so if I take out my red cabbage now and sit it like so both will then fit very nicely into the oven like that and still room to put something else in there so you can see how these stackable cookware is really really great